Hi everyone. Today we're going to start a project on creating a website through Google Sites. Um, it's a pretty easy process. Um, there's a few things. You can create pages, you can add insert images, you can hyperlink things to new pages and all kinds of cool stuff. Insert documents, maps, spreadsheets. Uh, you could even share it with somebody if you want to work on a website together with somebody. So let's go and get started. Um, so what we're going to do to find Google Sites is you can either start up here at the nine square waffle and you can go to sites. If it's not there for you, um, it might be down here in the lower apps panel and sites might be there. But if it's not in either place, let's just go ahead into the search box at Google and go ahead and type sites. Now that's all you have to type. You have to type Google Sites because Google always gives you their results first. So I'm going to hit enter and the first one right here is for Google Sites sign in. Now, you should already be logged into your school account. Um, this is going to be real simple if you already are. You won't even need to sign in. And here we go. These are sites. And these are several of the sites that I've always already created in the past. But we're going to go ahead and start with a new one. And what you will see is in the bottom right corner, the Create a New Site Plus icon. Let's go ahead and click that. And it's going to create our site. And here we go. This is our site. Um, so we are going to create a site, or you are going to create a site, basically about yourself, and we're going to add pages to it and, and kind of populate information, add information as we go as part of this process. So for the site name, um, I would suggest maybe just, maybe not your whole name, but I'm going to go ahead and title this, since this is a site about yourself, or myself, but in this case, you're going to make one for you. But I'm going to go ahead and type it. I'm going to call the site name The Kendall. And this is my home page right here, which says your title page. Okay, so you don't have to name this yourself if you want to. Um, this is your title page. Um, you could just say, welcome to my site, about me, um, a quick little phrase, um, one I like to use. I'm just going to put, we are the water. How about that one? And I wasn't necessarily going to get into this just yet, but I don't want it to be on two lines. So I'm actually going to stretch this title box out. And I don't know if you can see this, it's really dark, but there are some lines in there that you can spread them to. All right, we are the water. All right, and this is my home page. And we're not going to add any information. The first thing we're going to do is how to create pages. So um, these are your three main locations we're going to be. This is how you insert stuff. These are your pages, and these are themes for colors and styles and fonts and such, which we'll get to also. Let's go ahead and first start by adding pages. So the pages that we're going to add is, so this is my home page, as you can see, the only page that I currently have. And what we're going to do is, let's going to start with a few pages. This website's going to grow over the next several videos. But let's start with our first one. It's going to be called Hobbies, H-O-B-B-I-E-S. Go ahead and click Enter or Done. And as you can see, it adds a page right here, Hobbies. And let's just go ahead and add several. Um, I'm going to call, I'm going to make a section on Family. And as you notice, it's actually making a navigation for us up here at the top already. We have home, hobbies, family. These are all of our pages. And we're going to add a pages called goals. Now, Google is really easy in terms of making sub pages. A website is like a tree. You have a home page and you have branches that lead to other branches. So Let's create a couple pages under our hobbies pages. So I'm actually going to go to my hobbies pages. So you can click on it here. And as you can see, this is in purple. Everything else is gray. And well, it says hobbies right here in the middle. Um, I'm going to add another page actually for this one. I'm going to start going through and listing some of my hobbies. You are going to list your hobbies. And I'm going to call one. I'm going to title one. I'm going to do one on mountain biking. Mo. Well, I spelled this wrong in the sixth grade. Spelling bee, and I just did it again. M O U Mountain Biking. Enter. Now, what it did for us though is it made a whole new page for mountain biking separate and it put it up here across our navigation. So I'm actually going to take this mountain biking and I'm just going to click on it and drag it right on top of the word hobbies until there's a blue box around it. And it's now made it a sub page. And the nice thing about this is it's now um, under our navigation a subtitle. Well, let me add another page. Um, let's let's put uh, gardening. Gardening, enter. And actually, this one actually, since I was on that page, it knew I was kind of there and it added to this, added as a sub page under my hobbies. Now, there have been times where it gets added to the wrong section and it's just a click and drag away. So let's say this gardening was in the wrong area. I put it under goals. 
here you can see it's a sub page for goals now it's up here that's in the wrong spot it might even be down here completely at the bottom it's not even a sub page it's just right up right up across the top with my navigation um, I'm gonna drag it back up and I'm gonna put it on the word hobbies and it's gonna make it a sub page of hobbies and we could even rearrange right now I have mountain biking gardening mountain biking, gardening, but you could rearrange the order. Take the word gardening and drag it above it, not on top of it, because then there'll be a sub page. It'll be another branch, sub branch of that branch, but I want it to be right above that one. All right, so gardening, mountain biking, and so forth. All right, um, under our goals page, um, so the part of this process is gonna be create a website, and the most important part is you're gonna kind of start to fill out all the information. For goals, let's kind of get some of these pages out of the way. Um, or added here. We're gonna this will be the first part of our process. Project is just creating all of our pages. So I'm gonna click on the word goals, and you know, actually, I could create another page, and then we'll have to drag it to goals. Or another little trick is instead of clicking this plus sign, let's go ahead and click on the three dots for goals, and we're gonna make a sub page, and it's gonna automatically put it. So I'm gonna put goals. I'm gonna put one year. And this page is going to be goals that you want to, what are your goals for the next year? What do you want to accomplish in this next year? And we're going to do a one year. We're going to do a five year. Oops, it looks like it put that one at the bottom. So I'm just going to drag it up and put it on the word goals. And it's going to add it underneath. And let's do one more. Let's see if I click on the word goals. And I'm going to put 10 year, one year, five year, and 10 year. Nope, and that did not was not a sub page. It added it up here against the navigation. So let's just go ahead and drag it on top of the word on top to the goals. It goes right here. Actually, I can't add it there, but I'm gonna put it right here and then just drag the five year up on top of it. All right. So this is kind of the beginning of your website. Here's your home page, hobbies with the drop down navigation family. This is going to be about you and your family, and we're going to learn how to insert pictures and such and talk about image size later. Goals, you got your one-year, five-year, ten-year. Now, this is this will not be seen on your website, okay? If you want to preview your website, um, there is a way to preview it. We will check that out in a little bit here. Um, but this is your, these are your working tools right here. If you want to keep this clean and you want to kind of collapse this just to keep it clean, you can hit the little drop arrows right here and it kind of collapses that if we want to work on something else. All right. So on the home page, let's just give a quick, um, let's talk about inserting text is what we're going to start with. We'll do images in the next video. And that is going to be under insert. And you're going to want to kind of click around and play with some of this stuff. There are some quick layouts that are already there. If you wanna um, have two little, this is an icon for images, like two small images and a large one, or even an image and some text. Um, text, buttons, calendars, maps, and this stuff is all really easy to just walk through. If you kinda just click on it, you'd probably be able to figure this out. Google Docs, you can insert um, some type of sheet or a form if you wanna do a survey. Um, and these are the main ones up here at top, text box and images, which we can then click on. Or again, as always, there's a bunch of shortcuts, and you can just double click in the double click in the body area. And when you double click, kind of the main ones come up: text, images, some from Drive, uh, embed a hyperlink, or upload some type of uh, well, that's image. Upload uh, another item. So this text box would be the same as this text box. It's all going to do the same thing. So let's go ahead and insert a text box. Now in this text box. Uh, this is a website about me, and you're going to type like an intro. This is your home page, okay? Um, and what we could do is we could always change this around by grabbing our controls here. And it's kind of split up into, I believe it's 12 sections here. And you can't drop it. You, could have, you have to click on the end of it. Um, we can move it over. And it's really nice in Google. They kind of have these all these suggestions that pop up. I did it to four boxes. This is four boxes wide. So, um, and it kind of shows me that other layouts that are kind of um, symmetric. I got four boxes on four. There's four cells on the left, four cells on the right. So if I wanted to, um, you could add another uh, image text box. And let's try it. Insert that over. We could type something there or drag it this way. 
and so, so forth. All right. So we have the ability to add text to each of your pages. Any page that you want to work on, you could either go from your navigation up top if you want to go to hobbies and go to gardening. Here's where hopefully I'm going to maybe post some pictures of the tomatoes I just planted or some of my other cactus and succulents I've been trying to grow and whatever I like to do. Uh, but like I said, you can add a text box. All about gardens. All right. And like I said, and if you want to put this in the middle of the page also, you also have other tools available just like in Google Docs or Microsoft Word if you want to align your text to the center. You want to bold your text. Let's highlight that. Let's bold it. We can change it normal. We can make it a title. You can increase the size and so forth or clear the formatting. And actually, let's go back to normal text and then center it over there. All right. One thing I want to touch on on this video, I'm not going to try to make these too long, but we, this will hopefully get you set up and get your pages created, is let's go ahead and click on the fun part. Let's change the colors. Let's get to the themes. So like I said, these are the main three sections on um, how to insert stuff. This is your page navigation on how to organize your navigation and the order of your tree, your website tree. And let's just go to themes. And there are, um, it's not too many themes, but there are a lot of colors different, uh, a lot of colors available. So right now we're on the simple theme. There's Aristotle, Diplomat, Vision, and Level, and Impression. And once you even create, once you click on a certain style, you could then even change the colors within that. Or if these suggested colors don't work, you could click on the little paint bucket and choose any color within the spectrum right here also. Um, so I'm going to, um, and we'll be able to change that background image also later if we wanted to. Sorry, it's not a right click way. Just hover over it and you could actually change the image. You could change the header type to where it's large or it's a kind of a smaller banner. Oops, that was on the banner. This is the large banner. banner. Or we can get rid of that also. Um, or make it a full cover page. Let's just go back to a uh, banner style. Actually, I'm going to go to, let's just go to, I'm going to leave mine on simple, but I want a little bit more of a vibrant color. So I'm going to come over here to my blues. Yeah, it's a little bit purplish. And let's go over to here. Yeah, nonetheless, you don't need to watch me choose my colors. This is for you guys to create. All right. So hopefully this video wasn't too long, easy to follow. Please email me uh, or post any questions if you have any questions. Hope you enjoyed the video and hopefully you're off to a start on filling out your pages. Oh, one last thing I do have to tell you. If you're going to turn to turn this in, you need to publish this. You have to make it available on the web. Right now it is not published. I, if you sent me the link to this, I would not see it. So we're going to click on this big purple publish button up here. And this is going to give us a name right here. It's, uh, of course, we have not purchased a domain name. So we just have the Google sites, sites.google.com, and we're making this under JUSD. And it's going to be B Candle, but I'm going to add B Candle 2020 on the end. Um, there is a way if we wanted to purchase a domain name like uh, briankendall.com, there is ways to do that even through Google Sites. Um, it's pretty painless, but that does cost money. But don't worry about that. This is going to be a free assignment. You don't need to purchase anything. So, um, and let's see. Anybody, I just want to double check this. It did say who can view my site? Anyone who can view new? Who can view my site? Anyone at Rupa Unified School District. Okay, I'm going to click on Manage. So um, right now, you have to be logged in. So there's going to be a public site, but it's not going to be available to the whole world just yet. And we can change this. Um, but right now, this would be anyone can find the published version. But right now, since this is just a school assignment and uh, we are just kids, let's not put this out to the whole world. Let's just publish this for JUSD uh, people only at this moment. So I'm going to leave mine at anyone at Rupert Unified can view the published version. OK, so let's not change that setting. Publish your site. I have it set to Rupert Unified only. Let's go ahead and click Publish. And there we go. You will be able to you will be able to see this. Now, this is what copy uh, the link site. 
this is oops I don't want to copy this page I'll go to my home page this is what you're going to want to turn in right here go to your home page click on this link we're going to copy it and this has the name of our website I'll go ahead and copy link and this is what you're going to want to turn in um, to Google Classroom all right hope you enjoyed hope all is well take care